So today, I'm cooking with Kyle with a C. We have a very special guest today. Shaboy Cam from Tuesday Two Pack, Saturday Six Pack. Always wash your hands. It is a chicken broth base. We're gonna we're gonna start up with a crock pot. So at first, you're gonna need six cups of broth. All right, so doing six. It's like a little bit more, or a little bit less, or wait, a little bit less than two of these 32 ounce containers. So you'll need to buy two. You can't just get away with one. So it's, uh, it's like four cups each on these. So we'll just do a little bit too. Oh yeah. And one more. Save your broth uh, for the cat. Basically. So we're gonna start that. We're gonna let that sit. We're gonna grab our mushrooms because they they do take a little bit of time. So I always buy. I don't always buy, but you know, buying the pre-cut it's gonna be really easy. So we got a cast iron pan starting right now. You could actually use a little bit of your broth that you have left over if you want. I'll do that today for this special occasion. Normally I just use water. Cause I don't want to dry out the mushrooms, but I want to, I want to basically, I just do a nice starting so they don't stick. Basically I want to fry them and then rehydrate them and then fry them again. Perfect for soups. So let's get mushrooms right over here. I got some fangle dangle spices going on here. It's gonna look like a lot, but they're gonna shrink right down. So I always do extra. It's the it's the protein of the soup. So there's that. We're gonna get those going. They're gonna take a while. And within those, there's my special a recipe. Oops. It's gonna be crushed red pepper. And I don't measure. I just kind of make this a lot. I just shake it to where you'd be like, oh, I, I think that's enough because you can always add more to soup. But, take rosemary, and you're just gonna kinda cover it all. Because it's it's gonna be the flavor of it. And that's just from home. Wow. Then savory, which I didn't start using until like two years ago. You can get them in seeds or grounded. Savory. And we're not gonna go crazy, but we're just gonna do a top coat. We might need to add more water later on. So there's, oh man, oh, that's my bad. And this is a basically umami seasoned blend. It's uh, four mushrooms, it is mushrooms. So just to give that little extra kick, instead of using like a mixed mushroom pack, you can just add some extra mushroom flavor. And uh, I do take a little bit more moisture and just kind of pop it on top just to kind of get everything soaked in. So we're going to actually turn this up because this needs to get cooking. We're going to dice the onions really small. We're going to take one clove of garlic and we're going to shave those really thin so they basically melt. And then we're going to cut some jalapenos. There's four here, but we're only going to use two. But boom. We're gonna need some black beans too. So these need to be strained and rinsed. So I'm gonna actually just kind of pop them in there and kind of let them drip dry a bit. <laughs> All right. Pop off the ends there. I can show you my my fangle dangle uh, onion trick. Juicy, I'm gonna cry on this one. Alright. So 
gonna show you this dicey wicey. So this is uh, we're gonna be making these really, really thin. See what you do here? You chop it down the middle. Be very careful. Works really good with a sharp knife. Just do like layers like this, okay? And then we'll do one more. You know, don't don't go too crazy. And then you take it and you go down this way, okay? Pop me, want me. And the trick is to uh, not cut yourself. And then, so you have it down the middle, down the side, and then you chop it, and these are itty bitties now. So we're just gonna chop a full onion. Oh, See, I missed that one part, but you can always give it a chop. Just like that's fine. You can make it smaller, you can make it bigger, you know. And, uh, whew, I'm starting to cry. All right, so I like a mixed variety size. Now you're not gonna, you're gonna wanna pop these in different pans because we're cooking them differently. So, we'll bring these right over to the pan. Pop them in there, okay? A lot of this is gonna do a lot of cooking in this pan and the crock pots. We're gonna actually just put on a small burner for this one and just start heating it up. And maybe we can get a little bit of moisture on there. Either vegetable oil or olive oil. Vegetable uh, olive oil burns quick, so we gotta, we gotta speed things up. So then we'll go over here and uh, just need a I'll try not to click them together. All right, so these are coming up nicely. Yeah, we're gonna need these to boil it up. But with the rosemary and savory, it definitely starts to starts to definitely smart starts to uh, smell like a co-op in here. It's my favorite. It smells good. Very spicy. But I can tell already we're gonna need a little bit more spice. I haven't measured any of this out. It's just kind of it's just kind of my thing, you know. So we'll double down. Like I said, it's gonna be the majority of the flavor in the protein. So a little more savory. Whoa, <laughs> that's gonna be fine. <laughs> All right, so let's give it a mixy wixy. Those are gonna start, we'll start those. Is that on? <laughs> it's like the lowest. Uh, it is the lowest, I need to cut other things. So, now we just need a clove of garlic. Oh, nice. These are always difficult. So, so, oh man, you know, um, minced garlic would work the same. Anything else? But yeah, we'll just we'll just peel these, and one should be good. Yeah, I always use fresh garlic. It's nice. So you know. I'm, just cut in it just a little bit. You can dice it smaller, you can dice it however you want. And uh, we're gonna bring these right over to the uh, onion. But, okay. All right, so, and at the same time, yeah, these are, these are turning, churning out nicely. The water's gonna be fine because it eventually will evaporate and that's basically like a broth that we're doing. So even if it is a little watery, we're just gonna get the spices that we're using out of it. So this is the most merry of the And now we're gonna I uh, do it without the seeds. It's always uh well you don't do you have gloves by chance? Alright, so don't rub your eyes after touching these guys. Ooh! The bars right there. Let's bring it up. We do with this one. Ooh, fat, it's fat guys. Let's do this. I uh, used to make pico at work a lot. So had to do this uh, numerous times. That right off right now. Bunch of stinkers. All right, so I'm gonna chop these up nice and finely, finely and kindly.
some big pieces would be good, you know, to kind of flavor the soup. That's not too hot, not too... All right, let's check out these, see how these are going. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. We're gonna marry these flavors together. Marry them up. Yeah, so that's good. These are looking pretty good. It's, it's all about timing. Time, time. All right, so there's that. Because it's cast iron, it could be very sticky, icky. A lot of, uh, a lot of moisture is expelled when you do cook mushrooms, so you have that working for you. But it's like I cook and I'll soak up whatever's left, so yummy in my tummy, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, there's that. Alright, let's check these out. Not, you don't have to fry these for too long, just kind of get them heated. Because we're gonna, we're not gonna really fry these too much, so you want to put them after. Kind of keep them on the fresh side, but cooked. We'll pop that sucker right in. Oops. Oops. That's in green. All right. Oops. That's the rest of the hot pot. Oops. Oh, do you have salt and pepper? I'm sorry. Forgot that. We're going to add salt and pepper to this next. Once it starts to stick, turn down your pan, and we're going to add a little bit of water in there. Don't want to add any more of the sauce, just because we want to keep the flavor of the spices we're going. Basically, we fill it right up again. Once they start to fry, we're gonna we're gonna plump them right back up with some just some water, which it's also going to take the kind of what we've done on the the pan so it's almost like we roasted the spices and now we're gonna pop it up again so it's gonna look nice our fire rusted and we are going to put that in our broth that's been heating since the beginning because it's going to be sitting for a while. So we're going to pop our tomatoes in there. Alright. Nice and, nice and drained. Just don't want that candy bean flavor. You know what I mean? And of course you can cook your own beans. 24 hour beans. Alright. Okay. getting good too so that moisture we're gonna put that in our soup too pepper a couple a uh, little bit of Himalayan salt too just a couple we'll let that melt in there we're gonna caramelize car caramelize them just uh just a little bit we don't want to we don't want to turn too mushy. So that's almost that's almost done there. I think these will probably be pretty good to put them in. You know, just a slight cook. Okay, here these guys go. Just pop it all in there. This looks 
looks a little different. And then I forgot the uh, the redness from the the nice fire roasted tomatoes. <coughs> These are looking pretty good. As long as they're dark and they're not they're not uh, too burnt, that's gonna be good. So we can actually pop these right in there too. Uh, you know, if you want to cook them longer, do what you gotta do. I'm gonna grab this towel, but this will be good. It's a nice, nice texture. Right, right over here. Oh, thank you. Let's see if I can do this. Just very careful. Cast iron pans can be very hot. So I'm gonna fill this sucker up, and like the amount of mushrooms. Once you add it, that's gonna that's the bulk of it. Not one, not one mushroom left behind. We'll make it. There we go. Okay. Give that a nice mix, and we'll pop the top right on it. Thirty to forty minutes. Then we'll check it out. We'll add the cilantro and then we'll try it. Nice. <laughs> okay, so now we got everything mixed together and it's all happy in there. We're gonna take about a cup or a decent handful of cilantro, lightly chopped, not too much because you put too much your entire soup will taste like cilantro uh, I've done that before I've done that I've, I've done that before with uh, with sesame oil too oh, I've ruined many meals with sesame oil so you know, I don't mind the stems you know to one their own I think uh, they give a lighter amount of flavor and they're crunchy so but if you're the type of person who thinks it tastes like soap? I would not use it. I would just use parsley instead. But uh, without it, it's good too. So. But I'm a big fan of cilantro. You can even mix it in your cream cheese and it's pretty good. Make my own chai cream cheese. Instead of buying the pre-mixed stuff, I buy just cream cheese. And, uh, but, uh, but, uh. All right. So this is gonna go in here. These are. There are some big pieces, but you know, that's going to be all right. All right we'll give it a mix. And you can always add more when, when served. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be when, 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 oh, <laughs> when we're serving, this will be served with sour cream and Mexican cheese. And once you got your cilantro in, you're just going to do some lime juice. And then you also want an additional lime to garnish afterwards. So I just take these limes. And, uh, if you got a juicer or anything fancy, I'm just gonna do it by hand. This is gonna go really well with the cilantro. So let's try not to squirt ya. Get squirty. All right. I just about do that much because you can always add more. You can't take away. Yeah, it starts to smell really good after this. All right, and you just let that sit. This camera showed us how to make his Spanish mushroom soup. This was really awesome. 
Uh, I would definitely recommend it. Thanks for having me. So if you like what you see, uh, definitely hit up my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. And also make sure to check out Shaboy Cam, Real Fine Fishing, a music project Scarab Sayel, and definitely give everyone a like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for tuning in to Cooking with Kai with a C. Have a great day.